hi guys so today we are going to learn about how we can make a view pager in jetpack compose <clears throat> so if you have worked with android xml you know uh, we can make uh, in a uh, view pager uh, like in um, with android xml like doing uh, implementing a uh, transaction uh, taking a placeholder and doing the transaction so let's see how we can how we can achieve the same in jetpack compose so for doing that first of all what i have done is i have just created a empty uh, compose activity which like same you can do it from new new project and uh, selecting the empty compose activity right so and also what i have done is for this to like what we need to do is we need to add to dependencies just uh, we, i have added coil just to show the image views which we are going to show from the urls in swipe view and also like uh, another thing another dependency which we need to add is the google Accom accompanist uh, library the pager library which you can just find from like i will add the link in the description as well and you can find it from here and you can uh, see like uh, why and where we can use the company's uh, google uh, library yeah it is used for uh, basically for uh, jetpack compose to make like system ui controller like this and it will be used uh, right so you can uh, get and you can get the link from description and you can see it from there also another thing which like uh, how to use it uh, uh, to make the pager layout so in uh, view pager we have horizontal pager you can i will also add the, this link of the official jetpack compose and you can see how you can make like horizontal pager you can make the vertical pager and you can make um, the lazy creation uh, all the things in the here the all the examples are given i will add the link uh, of this as well so you can uh, find more about the view pager so i'm just going to show you a small demo how to create a view pager so let's start so for this uh, we are having the main component activity so i'm not going to uh, uh, same like uh, in this we are using the greeting function so let's do one thing let's make another screen and uh, we will uh, make our uh, view pager there so for this let's make a file and here take a kotlin file or class i will take file and i am going to name it as pager screen pager screen okay and this is my file i'm adding it to i'm also i'm going to uh, link up the github uh, repository link for this project as well so you can find more details from there as well okay so uh let's have a function pager screen and yeah so we need to name it as composable function okay and uh, to show the list what i have uh, taken is i have taken the list of urls these are the image urls basically which we are going to show uh, like either in horizontal swipe or vertical swipe a view pager basically which we are going to make so uh, okay and uh, let's start with okay the pager screen so to make this what we have to do is uh, we have to just start taking the horizontal pager uh, so if i show you in documentation uh, we are going to make a horizontal pager like this uh, here if you see like we are going to make it and for doing this what we have to do is simply like we have to add a horizontal pager then we have to add the count and then we can create the item so let's make it uh, so in the pager screen what we are going to do we are going to take first of all let's take the list which we are going to show so name it as image list and that is that will be from constant dot image list right and we are showing the pager so let's in this first of all let's take a column because we are going to use column and in this uh, let's take a modifier modifier uh, modifier dot uh, 
and we need to I'm not going to define the size I'm going to take it as fill max size right and in this let's have our horizontal horizontal pager okay so the for the count we need to show like how many pages we are going to show we can what we can do is we can take image list dot size okay and uh, also we need to uh, give it to the state uh, let's check what it's saying i think uh, it is for like a like company's pager is an experimental uh, the api may change in future so uh, you know this is still in beta so what we need to do is we need to uh, opt for an annotation opt in for experimental page api on page screen yeah right another thing is let's have a state of this pager well we can take it as a pager state it will be remember pager state okay and we can give it here that is pager state okay and in this let's have our page you can call it and to show the item what we need to do is uh, let's make a page item as well so uh, to make the page item what we can do is just simply you know we can uh, uh, take a box of and we can show the image so for this uh, let's make another kotlin filo class name it as uh, pager item and class and a composable function we are going to take function pager item screen yeah so in this what we are going to do we are going to send the url so of the image from the list so basically it will be a string so what we can do is we can take name it as the image url uh, which will be a string right so in this let's uh, take a, a subcompose image or what we can do is we can take a box and we will show the image inside it uh, either you can take a card view and show the image uh, in the card view whatever you feel like if you want to uh, show um, a nice and easy uh, cool thing so i'm taking a box uh, later on we can drive uh, i just taking box and just to make the video shorter and let's take the sub compose async image here and the same way like which we have taken in our previous uh, video you can go and check and here i'm taking it as a content description as image and also so give it a modifier modifier so that will be a modifier load film x size right and uh, dot uh let's just use it like this and if we, if we want uh, we can show a progress bar here like uh, we can we can take the state state that will be equals to painter dot state right and uh, we can do it like this if state is a sync image painter dot state dot uh, loading or we can say state is a sync image painter dot state dot uh, we can say in error state so what we are going to do we are going to do circular progress indicator and we can modify it if you want uh, if you want we can give it an uh, you know we can give it uh, color and uh, anything if you want and else what we can do is uh, we can just show sub uh, all we need to do sub compose async image content so this will be our uh, mostly our you know uh, our page item screen and here what we need to do is just show it like this uh what we may we have made page item screen right image url 
what we can do is we have put the size so image list and dot page and also uh, yeah uh, i think that's most of it and let's try running it and see how it looks and i think it, it should be working uh no it will not work because it is going to use the internet and we have not given the internet permission so we need to give it the permission of internet and yeah then we will run it again so i think it will crash and also one more thing what we need to do is we need to give it here we can't run it like this so we have made the pages screen right so we have to call it in our function pages screen in here pages screen yeah so let's try now uh, so i think it should be working and we can see our okay so this is our progress bar right now and another one another one yeah so here you can see the images are loading and yeah this is the view pager if you want uh, you can what we can do is we can just make an uh, progress indicator at the uh, below like if you want to show the count if you want to uh, make a uh, if like if you want to show the count of the item we can do it as well uh, just what we are doing here we are just showing this item in this what we can do is we have taken the box if you want uh, in the box what we can do the subcompose image is ending here we can also show the text text will be uh, like we can just pass on the uh, we are passing the image URL we can pass on the position and we can show it here if you want in the text at the bottom like first second third whatever you want uh, let's let's let me show it to you mm, the page screen here let me send another page i'm sending so in page item let's just have the position or you can say it count and it will be an int right just we are accepting so we can say uh, like page or you can say the count let me call it page and dollar count we can take also if you want to uh, animate it to a specific uh, position we can also do that uh, let first just try to show it uh, let give it a font size of material we can use the material theme dot typography dot h2 dot font size and uh, let's align it so modifier dot align and alignment alignment dot bottom start we can use yeah and we should be giving it the color also yeah color i would like to give it color dot uh, red let's see let check uh, if it coming or not so it should be showing us the uh, page count yeah page zero page one page two page three page four page five page six also same way you can show the indicator and taking a box and you can show it uh, on the main screen also if you want from the page screen if you want to scroll it to a particular position then you can do it as well uh, for example uh, here this is and if i want to scroll it to a particular position you you, you can use uh, the launch effect as well but i am using the coroutine uh, scope and seo sorry okay and we what we can do is scope 
dot launch right and we can we well, another thing what we need to do is we need to give it a uh, state of the pager we have the pager state right yeah we have the pager state we can do is pager state dot animate scroll to page and uh, we know we have 10 position uh, i'm just giving it five position and what it's saying okay calls to launch should happen inside launch effect not uh, not compositions yeah so it is giving us an uh, error like it should be happening inside and composition uh, using the launch effect but we can we can do it as well so we need to do it like this let me try launch effect yeah given is the our pager state right and another thing what we need to do is we need to in carotene scope so here we can what we can do is pager state dot scroll animator scroll to position 5 let me try it if it works see it, it directly takes me to page 5 and you can scroll from here and you can page 3 page 2 so this is how the view pager in jetpack compose works and you can work on it and if you want to learn more about how uh, you can make a vertical uh, sorry vertical view pager horizontal view pager animate and, and many more things you can uh, check the official guidelines from here i will uh, drop the links and so uh, this is uh, it for today guys this is all about how you can create a view pager in jetpack compose do let me know how you like this video and uh, do let me know if you want me to make some videos on some specific topics on jetpack compose or kotlin so that's it for today thank you see you in next video cheers bye